नमस्कार मैं हूं सुशील भारती आप देख रहे हैं अपना खास प्रोग्राम एम एस टी वी पर हर पल आपके साथ और आज एक मुलाकात की कार्यक्रम में हमारे साथ हैं हिज होलीनेस भीखू संगसेना जी जो कि आध्यात्मिक गुरु हैं और लद्दाख की धरती से वो बहुत सारे लोगों के जीवन में एक स्पिरिचुअलिटी और एक आध्यात्मिकता का रंग खोल रहे हैं आज हमारे साथ हैं आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है हिज होलीनेस जी Uh, सबसे पहला मेरा आपसे जो सवाल है कि आज का जो माहौल है माहौल के अंदर लोग कंफ्यूज हैं रिलीजियस एक्टिविटी से और स्पिरिचुअल एक्टिविटी से यू नो कई बार वो कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं बीच में सो हाउ विल यू डिफाइन कि एज ए स्पिरिचुअल ह्यूमन बीइंग हाउ यू शुड यू नो परफॉर्म योर ड्यूटीज एंड वॉट शुड बी योर बिहेवियर एंड वॉट शुड बी योर पर्सनैलिटी यस आई एस यू से Uh, confusions conflicts different ideas different ideologies and different thinking about the normal world and the the role of spirituality this is us because of the ignorance uh most people uh, do not study properly do not go deep enough in what you call spirituality or religions uh, adhyatmik study uske andar ठीक से जाते नहीं तो एट द सरफेस लेवल दे गिव देयर ओन ओपिनियन दिस इज द रीजन इफ एनी वन यू नो गो डीप इनफ इन टू स्टडी एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ रिलीजन और द स्पिरिचुअलिटी यू विल क्लियरली नो दैट दिस लाइफ और द क्राइसिस वी आर द वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग इज विल सिंपली गो अवे बाय ब्रिंगिंग द स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज सो spirituality is a, actually wisdom a light a solutions to the crisis now today some people think that oh religion is uh, something different and uh, from the common people or uh, some people you know just some something undesirable some unfortunate things are happening in the name of religions they give their opinion or oh, this is the religion this is not true uh, i would say that having born as human beings if you miss spirituality you miss the human life it is the spirituality which brings color beauty and fragrance to human life you know without spirituality our life is like uh, plastic flowers there is look nice like robot looks nice but there is no inner beauty inner fragrance inner value smile it is the understanding and practice of spirituality based on the the wisdom the ancient wisdom taught by the enlightened masters you know so uh, i believe uh, if people uh, can spare some time to study properly and practice this these uh, spiritual principles taught by all the enlightened masters much of the problem can be solved today we are uh, facing the world is f- going through unprecedented crisis like violence killings hatred divisions all these are due to the lack of uh, lack of understanding that uh, uh, we we think ourselves different from others we are the american we are the european we are the asian we are the muslims we are the christians we are the muslims we are hindus and so on they, and these things are unfortunately our world famous universities colleges are not taught these values you know in fact in the name of uh, their nation in the name of uh, religion they actually this uh, uh, this division egotism that uh, our country should be better our religion should be better better than others you no know? we are the american we are the european we are the asian there is no such thing the fact the truth is that the truth the dharma is that whether you are american european asian whether you are muslim buddhist christian you are all we are all human beings fundamentally we are same human beings born in a similar way growing in a similar way and one day all of us will die and all of us are sharing the one planet same planet all of us drinking the same water all of us are you know eating the same same food and uh, uh, we are breathing the same air uh, and all of us are living under one sun one moon one sky and all of us despite little difference on the color on the skin we're all the same everybody have uh, two eyes one nose one mouth two ears two hands two legs and one small heart 
inside the heart also same desire desire to avoid all suffering problem and desire and wish to enjoy peace and harmony where is the difference and these differences will uh, will disappear when we properly study and practice the spirituality spirituality बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ठीक कहा आपने कि स्पिरिचुअलिटी को स्टडी अगर करेंगे ठीक से तो बात बनेगी हिज होलीनेस एक चीज़ और भी देखी गई है कि आज का जो समय है उसमें जो प्रकृति है जो नेचर है उससे भी बहुत सीखने की ज़रूरत थी जैसे अभी आपने कहा कि स्पिरिचुअल गुरुज ने बहुत सारी चीज़ें सिखाई थी अभी जो मनुष्य है वो बहुत ही संकुचित दायरे में बंधा हुआ है वो सिर्फ अपने लिए सोच रहा है अभी जो जीव जंतु प्राणी जो जगत है पूरा उसके बारे में नहीं सोचता है वो कंपेशन वो करुणा जो है वो गायब है आपको क्या लगता है कि कि ये अगर चीज़ चलती रही तो ये कहाँ लीड करके जाएगी exactly. climate change and all these things are happening because of uh, human interference in the nature uh, humans are interfering in nature out of their greed to fulfill their greed fulfill their selfishness fulfill their ego they are destroying the mother earth pol- polluting the air polluting the water polluting the mother earth and as a result of this we are facing this crisis and this is because we are lacking uh, mahakaruna great compassion for others great compassion for other human beings great compassion for animals great compassion for nature trees they this uh, greedy people forgetting the all things just to make profit they are going to any extent to cut the trees pollute the waters and all this so the solution is that to develop it is time for humanity to really develop universal compassion universal love care for others concern for others you know love for others compassion for others by developing this unconditional universal love and compassion for all others including animals and the nature much of the crisis can be brought under control or we can overcome this whatever the crisis we are facing sometimes we use this word natural crisis natural crisis this is no natural crisis this is human created crisis whatever created by human beings it can be stopped also so how to stop by developing genuine love and compassion that i cannot live peacefully happily without generating the same respect regards love for others now people are thinking about themselves only for themselves they f- they forget others the truth is that we are all interconnected interdependent interrelated yes if he, i want to be happy i want to remain happy and healthy i must show concern and care for my, my neighbors other people by taking care of all others collectively holistically i can live happily otherwise if i say uh, i want to relax here and enjoy coffee and read newspaper but then i am hearing the bomb blast outside i am hearing somebody is burned alive i am hearing the crying of the mother and child burned alive how can i sit here and enjoy coffee and read newspaper so if i want to relax here enjoy coffee read newspaper uh, i must make sure that my neighbors the others the neighbor, neighbors of my house here maybe neighboring states neighboring countries eventually whole world when the whole world are uh, you know sitting and relaxing and enjoying coffee i can also but if i think that only i i must relax i must enjoy i don't care about that that this can never materialize this can never happen because we are interconnected interdependent all related therefore i believe the uh, the unconditional universal compassion mahakaruna as taught by lord buddha and others enlightened master rishi muni is the solution unfortunately 
our leaders, our business people, our general educationists, they are not including these things. They are just uh, the modern education is a tummy based education. Just, uh, you know, how to uh, get more marks, how to face interview, how to get a job, how to earn money and go for shopping. That, the modern education must include spiritual values, human value, value based education. So this. Without that, uh, I think the entire education is getting failed or it's not going to earth. Uh, uh, His Holiness, if I talk about 100 people, तो इसमें से 99 परसेंट ऐसे हैं कि वो ये कहते हुए मिलते हैं कि मुझे जिंदगी में प्यार ही नहीं मिला और वो आ, अपना हाथ ऐसे प्रेम के लिए बढ़ा रहे हैं लेकिन देना नहीं चाहते हैं आपको 99 परसेंट जो समाज के अंदर जो कि हम लोग समाज के अंदर हम देखते हैं कि हर किसी को शिकायत है कि मुझे प्यार नहीं मिला मुझे कोई प्यार नहीं करता और लेकिन देने के नाम पर उनके पास कुछ नहीं है एग्जैक्टली exactly. जब हम कुछ देना नहीं आता है तो कैसे वापस आएगा वट गोस आउट फ्रॉम यू कम्स बैक टू यू इन मल्टीफिकेशन वेन यूर हार्ट इज फुल ऑफ लव द होल वर्ल्ड इज फुल ऑफ लव या सो अपने मान के अंदर प्यार नहीं है लव नहीं है अपने मान के अंदर घृणा से भरा है और हम चाहते हैं कि दूसरे सुख सब लोग हमको प्यार करें ये नहीं हो सकता जो देता है वही वापस आता है सो इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड वी हैव टू move in world and develop this genuine love compassion the spiritual values the human values the cultural values the religious values we have to focus truly otherwise we are going astray from the right path and situation can get even worse so it is still we have a time that human beings <clears throat> should stop and think deeply and uh, move inward and balance this inner and outer you know the, the, this is what is missing this balance is there we are all totally outside oriented physical and uh, material uh, oriented so we can enjoy total uh, what you call holistic happiness total health total happiness only and only when we bring the balance between this you know materiality and spirituality ecology and psychology physics and metaphysics yeah and meditation and medication and inner and outer values if we can synthesize this this uh, science and uh, spirituality that would bring the greatest blessings to the earth yeah now all that we are outside oriented unfortunately we are spending so much uh, uh, human resources for destructive purpose and people think people think that by having stronger military by uh, buying more powerful weapons and guns the you know they would bring peace and security it is total delusion that can never bring yes the peace and harmony and security will not come from the mouth of bombs and guns the peace and security will come by generating love and compassion for all for all inclusively the whole whole world should be one family we should be member of one family the global family only this understanding only by developing this attitude and understanding towards the whole world you know we can expect true peace happiness and security this uh, you know the competitions between different countries to have stronger military and stronger uh, uh, weapons um, Uh, war equipment which is nothing but basmasura dance it will come back when one country is trying to develop uh, powerful uh, uh, you know bombs and uh, weapons then never also have to do they, they also have to do so that's not the, the ancient wisdom like lord buddha told panchashila five moral precepts you know respect each other that we are not strangers to each other we are not enemy to each other we are brothers and sisters of one family the human family the one world you know if we can develop this understanding that alone will bring peace and security not bombs and guns and military right is <laughs> so, all in this uh, the biggest uh, uh, problem is 
डिज़ायर्स लोगों की जो इच्छाएं हैं वो बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है बहुत मेडिटेशन करने के बावजूद भी बहुत सारी प्रैक्टिस करने के बावजूद भी बहुत सारे कोर्सेज करने के बावजूद भी द पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल दिस प्रॉब्लम डिज़ायर्स जो हैं वो धीरे धीरे करके और ज़्यादा जो विकराल रूप उन्होंने लिया है जिसका खामियाजा है कि लोग खुद भी भुगत रहे हैं आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं एज ए स्परिचुअल गुरु कि क्या ऐसा कोई मूल मंत्र है कि इस डिज़ायर्स पर थोड़ा काबू लगाया जा सके all the ancient rishi munis the enlightened masters everybody uh, uh, talk about this issue the root cause of all this uh, miseries in our lives suffering in our lives is the desire the greed greed or desire and as you mentioned that uh, despite a uh, uh, very depth study and practice of dharma spirituality people are not able to control the desire um i'm sorry i will not agree with that if people <laughs> if people go deep enough they will understand they will understand uh, here uh, two glass of water is there in in one glass there is a poison in another glass a medicine if you know you will not take this uh, <laughs> the glass which contains poison you will not take if you don't know you will take it so people don't understand that's why they develop they have this misunderstanding or wrong view uh, that by developing desire to have more and more and more they think they will get uh, you know uh, peace happiness satisfaction or fulfillment it is wrong it never happens that way i heard a, a story a big businessman uh, was driving in an expensive car on the road and on the way he suddenly found a young man a handsome man a uh, very strong man energetic man is simply sitting under the tree on the side of the road so out of curious this uh, big businessman stopped the car and went outside oh young man you looks very young strong healthy handsome intelligent person why are you uh, sitting here and wasting your time and the young man said sir then what shall we do young man you don't know why don't you go to city why you go to city or if you go to city you get can get a job oh, the young man again said for what sir job oh young man you you look so intelligent you don't understand that if you get a job you can earn money the young man again i said for what sir oh young man you look so intelligent don't understand if you get a job you can earn money the young man again asked so for what sir oh young man you don't understand with the money you can buy house you can have a furniture you can have a car then the young man again asked for what sir oh young man you look so intelligent you don't understand this much when you have a house and a furniture car then you can relax relax enjoy relaxation and the young man said this is what i'm doing sir under the tree this is what i'm doing and the big businessman thought you know this man is crazy he turned and uh, tried to go into car to continue his journey and the young man shouted sir sir please stop uh, sir i also went through this madness as you are going now <laughs> i also thought the same thing by having these these that they these things i will have a relaxation at will but never it, my tension my blood pressure when i might be sent that more than more more and more so uh, now i am happy so that doesn't mean that everybody should go and sit under the tree on the side of the road but there's something to learn that a fulfillment the total happiness satisfaction will not come uh, by developing excessive desire desire so desire is the root cause of this is what young all the modern students uh, you know need to be understood made to be understood that make them understand last question uh, his holiness uh, uh, blissful life ke liye ki aap uh, jeevan mein ek blissful life jiye to kya mool mantra hai aapke paas uh, ki kyunki bahut sari baaton mein to insaan waise bhi bahut zyada confusion hai usko kyunki ya to fir usko bahut hi zyada spirituality mein jana padega बट एक शांति से एक ब्रिस्फुल लाइफ के लिए क्या मूल मत देना चाहते हैं नहीं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो हमको ये अंडरस्टैंड करना है वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड 
that we are a guest on this planet. We are a visitor. Uh, we are not going to live here thousands and thousands of years. If you look around the people, the way the people develop desire to have this and that, money, position, this, all these things, it looks like they are going to live at least few thousand years. Whereas our life is not even uh, 80 years, 90 years, 80, 90 years. If you are lucky to, to live 90 years, this also miscalculation. If you live uh, 80 years, no, 80 years. So out of 80 years, half night, half day. Night time we sleep, right? So this, the life you spend in sleep is really not a dynamic part of life. It is semi dead. So please remove 40 years from the 80. So left only uh, only 40 years. This also a little bit most uh, miscalculation. Uh, out of these 40 years, we have to uh, we get sick and get admitted in hospital. We have to quarrel and fight with people. To, you know, sort of unpleasant things. These things. So remove another five, six years for this quarreling, fighting with neighbors and others and these things, and so, right? So where is our life? We have only hardly some 30, 30, 40 years, not even 30, 40 years. So we must learn that, that we are here a short time, we are the guests, we are visitors. And uh, knowing this, then we must learn the teachings of these saints and sages, like Buddha taught so beautifully, Shila Samadhi Panya. We must follow the basic moral ethics, moral precepts. If you follow the moral, like Panchashila, five moral precepts, yes, I have been telling, if every human beings, every human beings, not just Buddhist, not the Indian, but all human beings on the planet follow the five precepts, you know what the result is going to be? You don't need a single police. You don't need a single soldier. You don't need to spend a single dollar for military purpose or police or buying bombs and guns. What we will do that? Police will not function, soldier will not function, all the weapons will not function if nobody is creating problem for each other. Nobody is stealing, nobody is cheating, nobody is creating problem for each other. Police will have no job. Army will have no job. Rocky will have no job. <laughs> so now every, uh, every year, uh, police are increasing, number of police increasing, uh, military increasing, the budget for military increasing. This is the uh, direct result, result of violating these moral precepts. We are not caring for each other, no concern for each other. We are cheating, we are deceiving, we are stealing, and that's why we need these things. So follow five precepts, you know, and meditate every morning, evening, short meditation practice yoga and meditate thing understand that any time we might have to leave if we understand that we are here for a short time i'm here in this beautiful hall here i can't imagine that to uh, develop a desire and greed to have this or to create problem for sir <laughs> I, I will think here uh, so long i'm there i will think of enjoying enjoying my time with sir and people no and uh, guest here and I'm also guest at my home. Only the difference is that I'm guest at my home li for a little bit longer. I'm guest here for a shorter time. But I am a guest. If everybody realize this, this have this wisdom that we are a guest, you know, we are a visitor, all our desires simply drop. All these problems are uh, uh, from the excessive desire and greed. The desire and greed comes as a result of ignorance, not understanding that I am a visitor, I am a guest, I am a short, here short time. When we realize all unnecessary desire, attachment, clinging, ego will drop. By dropping all this uh, uh, false ego, and greed and hatred, we will be blessed with a new life, a life of smile, life of relaxation, life of detachment then you, your life becomes, uh, you become a flower, a walking flower, a talking flower. Yes, you become a light, you become a blessings. These blessings can come from by studying and practicing the teachings of the enlightened master. This will not come from a business world or politicians will not come, sorry to say this, yeah. So therefore I encourage, I encourage everybody to 
please, uh, uh, while you are trying to, you know, build your career, earning job, also important. Yes, you have to study, you have to have a degree, uh, you have to do business, you have to earn. For you. Along with that, if you can spare some time for meditation, for prayer, for reflection, and study of the teachings of enlightened master, that will bring these blessings. We can experience divine life here and now. If we know the art of living, jine ka kala ap sikhe, to aapko swar jane ki le next life ka zarurat nahi. You don't need to wait for the next life somewhere. Here and now you can experience divine life. This very earth where you live can become a paradise in heaven. It is all in our hand. Yeah. So, but both say, look, you know, jo, uh, you know, those who want to learn and practice dharma also, uh, there's something thing wrongly. The things they always about heaven after death. Why after death? What you can experience here? Why you postpone for next life? Uh, what, what you can experience here, why you there, I can think about another heaven you are here. What more you want? Even, even if you go to heaven, you will not find so beautiful uh, earth like this. Sometime back, people used to believe the moon is the abode of God. God used to live. Now human beings managed to reach them. Oh, not, they didn't find even one flower. They didn't find oxygen, water they have to carry from here. This earth is thousand times more beautiful than moon, isn't it? So everything is here if we know the art of living. You know, look at the sunrise, look at the sunset, look at the shining star, look at the varieties of flower, look at the rivers, look at the beautiful, majestic snow mountains, the oceans, the different seasons, the summer and the winter and the autumn and the spring. So beautiful this world, isn't it? And then our life also. We are blessed with the power to see the colors, all the colors. We are blessed with the power to hear all divine teachings. We are blessed with the power to share the feelings of our hearts with others through our tongue. We are blessed with the power to stand up and go and reach wherever you want to go. We are blessed with the power to create whatever we want, like Sir Dr. Sandeep, we created this fantastic institute here, created with hands. And we are blessed with the power to think, think right and wrong. And finally, we are blessed, above all, we are blessed with the power to pray and meditate and realize God, truth realization, God realization, self realization. What more do you want? Everything is here. Right heaven is here, right gods and goddesses. We are all sleeping gods and goddesses. This earth is the heaven. We must think of making this world heaven experience divine life here and earth, never wait for the next life, though we believe in you know, uh, rebirth, but nobody has come back. Thank you very much, uh, His, uh, His Holiness, that you have told that you can a blissful life. Thank you very much, that you have talked about our MSTV and I hope that as many people who are in our MSTV, will listen to all these things and will live in their lives. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका नमस्कार तो हमसे बात कर रहे थे आज इस एम एस टी वी की चर्चा में हिज होलीनेस भीखू संग सेना जी और उन्होंने जिस तरह की बातें की हैं तो निश्चित रूप से बुद्ध की एक लाइन याद आती है कि आत्म दीपो भव कि अपने अंदर का जो सूर्य है उसको जागृत करना होगा इनलाइटमेंट करना होगा और कहीं तब जाकर के एक करुणा और कंपैशन का जीवन आपको जीना शुरू करना चाहिए और जिन्होंने पंचशील का सिद्धांत बताया है तो निश्चित रूप से आपको उस पर भी जाना होगा और निश्चित रूप से आप एक अच्छा और सुंदर और एक ब्लिसफुल जीवन जी सकेंगे आज के लिए इतना ही अगली बार मैं किसी और मेहमान के साथ हाजिर रहूँगा अब लेता हूँ इजाज़त नमस्कार